a second, let me brag on my God. Get the truth, yeah, be showing off. Yeah, I promise you never took a loss. If I'ma tell it, I gotta tell it all. Wait a second, let me brag on my God. Get the truth, I ain't just telling y'all. You can count it, he never took a loss. And if I'ma tell it, I gotta tell it all. Hold on, wait a second, let me brag on my God. I love my God to keep them bands on me. You may say I'm tripping, I'm your fan only. I love the time that we be spending low key And I know they rockin' with me when it's hands on me Oh, this is all I know I know you riding with me when the times get low So I be on a mission till you plan I go And I can tell you vibe with me Oh, you protect me from every weapon And every lesson as a blessing And there's a reason why I'm rapping Hold on, wait a, wait a second, wait a second Let me brag on my God Hear the truth, yeah, be showing off yeah, I promise you never took a loss If I'ma tell it, I gotta tell it all Wait a second, let me brag on my God He the truth, I ain't just telling y'all You can count it, he never took a loss And if I'ma tell it, I gotta tell it all Hold on, wait a second, let me brag on my Every time I think about your love, love, love Finally got somebody I can trust, trust, trust Why you keeping me, I really just don't know As you can see, we got it going up, oh, oh. Yeah, because of you Sorry, I can't lose And all the hating, they talking, it ain't true And I'ma tell the world, cause they gotta know You protect me from every weapon And every lesson, there's a blessing And there's a reason why I'm rapping Hold on, wait a, wait a second, wait a second Let me brag on my God Hear the truth, yeah, be showing off. showing off Yeah, I promise you never took a loss If I'ma tell it, I gotta tell it all Wait a second, let me brag on my God Hear the truth, I ain't just telling y'all you can count it, you never took a loss And if I'm a tenant, I gotta tell it all Hold on, wait a second, let me brag on my Brag on my Brag on my Wait a second, let me brag on my God Hear the truth, yeah, you be showing off Yeah, I promise you never took a loss If I'm a tenant, I gotta tell it all Wait a second, let me brag on my God Hear the truth, I ain't just telling y'all you can count it, you never took a loss And if I'ma tell it, I gotta tell it all Hold on, wait a second, let me brag on my All right, those candles don't need to be blown out. <laughs> All right, Josh, you wanna say a couple of words? <clears throat> um, appreciate the happy birthday and the card and the cake. Uh, like last half, not last half, the last quarter of this year has been pretty difficult for me. Um, and so, I just really appreciated this weekend to be able to spend time with the family and um, yeah, just get a break from everything. Okay, you're gonna make me cry. Amen. Amen. Father God, I just ask you to strengthen me as I make these remarks, Father God, and just thank you so much for this uh, community assembled in this chapel today, Father God. Give an honor to God, pastors, family, small group members, friends, coworkers in the Barrington community. I thank you for being here to honor the life of my son, Josh Burks who has gone on to heaven sooner than we would have liked. Cindy and I named him Joshua, a great military leader from the Bible, and gave him the middle name of my grandfather, Leroy, the man who taught me everything, including the gumbo and the ribs recipe, <laughs> and how to be a man and use every tool in my garage. Yeah, so 
Um, his friends called him JB. He called me Pops, and he called Cindy Mommy, or Boss Lady, or and Boss Man. We love that boy. Cindy and I don't want his untimely death to be in vain. And our testimony as a result of that is twofold. Number one, community absolutely matters. Number two, good can come from brokenness. All right. Acts 2.42 says, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to breaking of bread and to prayer. Cindy and I are deeply embedded in community with people in and outside of the church. This community of people are actually holding us up during this trial. They come from golf, neighbors, football, several small groups, coworkers, professional organizations, and fellow recovery families. I can't count the prayers, acts of kindness, listening ears, shared tears, calls, visits, texts, baked goods, especially Renee's pound cake, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and the hugs, and the hugs. She should never make more, more, less than three of those. So. Oh, oh. Truth be told, they're the pillars in our everyday life, earthly representations of God, and an integral part of our spiritual disciplines. You end up drinking from wells you dug in the past. Therefore, brothers and sisters, my testimony is to always be and always be digging new wells. Yes. Don't pass up the precious moments with people to listen, to encourage, to support because you never know when you're gonna to need to draw on the healing and life-giving waters of the community well. Yes. Yeah. Pastor Rick Warren says that in God's garden of grace, even broken trees bear fruit, as is evidenced by all the people that Josh was able to touch during his short 20-year life. Yeah. Josh was a loving son, uh, a brother, a grandson, a nephew, a cousin, friend, teammate. Yet like all of us, he was broken, but still bore much fruit. He could light up the room with a smile. He was funny, smart, a great salesman when it came to football fundraising or extended warranties at Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> yeah, 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 he was number one at that. Loved to get that commission. He loved to stack paper, I tell you what. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That touched my heart to see the way that boy liked to stack that paper, so. Yeah, so. Like many of us, Josh had a flaw. And this flaw took his life too soon. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to keep it real with you. Substance abuse and addiction are real. And we must show love and compassion to fight for people, right? There's no shame in having a, uh, a, a challenge and an issue. And brothers and sisters, we've got to show grace and wrap our, our arms around people that are troubled in our community. And that's why I'm absolutely committed to take this, this platform that uh, I am blessed with, and my family is blessed with, to make sure that this boy's life was not lost in vain. And I, you know, that, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Josh was receiving all aspects of care and he was fighting to recover. The community was fighting alongside this boy to recover. So what I'm asking for you to do is we, we appreciate the community and we appreciate the love, but brothers and sisters, we've got to step up here and I ask you to help us continue this fight for him and young men and women like him who are struggling by supporting the recovery ministry at this church right here in Willow Creek to ensure that no other families have to go through this painful trial. I like to tell you the number of folks in the, uh, the wake line last night shared with me that they had actually lost children and may have been in fear about talking about that 
due to this very scourge. And the number of calls where people say, I've lost a cousin, I've lost a nephew, I've lost a sister or brother due to this scourge that is going on in our country. So we've got to do something about that. So brothers and sisters, resources are here at this service to plug you into community, which is absolutely critical, and help with recovery. God bless you and thank you for the hearing of this testimony.